Hi guys, my name is Vijay Kumar Vemla. I'm a Citrix and Azure trainer and architect. In this video, let us see how do we take snapshot of a disk. Taking snapshot of a disk will protect uh, your virtual machine from any issues. In case if you got to restore, then you can always go and restore it from a snapshot. Now, without waiting further, so here I am on a VM1 and I'm getting into the disks option and you see the operating system disk here. And I'm going to the operating system disk and here you see an option called as create snapshot. Create snapshot. So select the option called as create snapshot. It will take you to this particular screen where you will be able to take the snapshot of the disk. I'm going to go and specify the name of this OS VM1 OS disk. And then where do you want to put it? And it, by default, it sits in the same region where your VM is. And then the subscription and all those things it picks from uh, what do you call it as the same location. And what is that storage type you want to go with? Whether you want to go with standard HDD or premium SSD, it's up to you. You can pick one of them. I'll leave that standard. And go ahead and specify the encryption details. By default, it uses platform manager key. I will do that. And in case you have your own encryption solution, you can go with that one as well. Say next. And then the networking part, whether you want to allow access to this particular snapshot from a specific uh, endpoint, you can define it. By default, it will be accessible from all the network locations. And then say next, tax, review and create. So very simple, straightforward. Now you are going to go and have a snapshot of the operating system disk. Once the snapshot is created, you will be able to restore or rather you will be able to create a VM out of this snapshot. You can see your snapshot of the disk is created. I'll click on go to resource. Now this is the snapshot you have. I can create a disk out of this snapshot and using that disk, I will be able to create a VM. Remember that you will not be able to create a VM directly using a snapshot. You need to first create a disk and from that disk, you will be able to create a virtual machine. So let me create a disk out of this snapshot that whatever you have and click on create disk. I'll name it as OS disk, some name one. And then the options are related to with the region availability and then uh, subscription and so on, the size. And then again, the encryption settings, networking from where you want to access this disk. And then whether you want to go with a shared disk or not, I'll say no. Go ahead and create a disk out of that snapshot. So this creates a disk out of that snapshot. You have your disk. You go to the disk that which got created. You can create a VM out of this disk. All you need to do is click on this option called as create VM. And then I'll name it as maybe VM2. And then I will be able to restore it. Like how I create a virtual machine. You can create. So simple straightforward so snapshots will help you to protect your virtual machines and of course you can go with a backup as well but it is a very simple straightforward you can use it for your what do you call it as protect your virtual machines or you can use it to kind of have a backup of your disks and you can restore it whenever you want Now you see this virtual machine is created, right? And this virtual machine is exactly a clone of this VM1, right? So you have now two virtual machines. One is VM1 and VM2. VM2 is an exact clone of this VM1. So like that, you can use your disk snapshot to restore and protect your virtual machines. Hope this video helps. In case if you like this video, 
please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe my channel thank you